all right welcome back everyone to another video and uh, a few months or i might be even a year back i showed you all uh, dxvk which was a very interesting project uh, about like converting DirectX calls to uh, Vulkan calls and running Windows or made for Windows games on Linux and uh, since then a lot has happened uh, Steam has kind of taken over the project uh, they are contributing heavily both in terms of engineering and monetary resources uh, and now it's a part of Steam it's called Steam Play now it's kind of an old news but I really wanted to take another look and like just show you guys so I have a couple of uh, games in here uh, that I tried. I tried Just Cause 2, I tried uh, Qu uh, Quake Champions, um, I also tried PUBG. Now with Just Cause 2 and Quake Champions things, this, things didn't really go that well. PUBG was a different story. They don't really like, they have very strong like uh, hack prevention mechanism, something like that. Uh, called Eagle Eye, Golden Eye, something like that, and uh, it really, it really didn't want. Um, it didn't really didn't like the DXVK running um, on Linux, and uh, uh, it messed messed that up. But Quantum Break is all available on Steam, um, and again, it's a game made by Microsoft for Xbox and then ported over to Windows. So I am uh, pretty. Uh, much as made for windows as this gets so let's hit play and see how it works so so far so good uh, all of that looks fine uh, I don't know if the FPS is clearly visible but it's on the top left corner and you can see the intro and everything is at 30 FPS and the game just uh, starts into the uh, menu and we can go and take a look at option and uh, we can turn off a few things of pretty much everything at uh, as, as, as low as possible and uh, we have the resolution at 20, uh, 1280 by 720 this is as low as, low as it gets uh, exclusive full screen mode will be sync i've turned off uh, 30 fps lock i've turned off and uh, hard visibility is on subtitles i've turned off now whatever you see medium here actually just means uh, low because there's nothing lower than medium in most of the settings and I have also turn, going to turn off anti-aliasing and upsc upscaling and film grain and that should be good to go. So now let's go ahead and continue part one and uh, let's see how it works for us. And uh, at this point I should probably tell the specifications of the system I'm running this on. It's a second gen i3, so a pretty old uh, CPU and GTX 960, so last to last gen uh, mid-range GPU and only 8 gigs of RAM. So most of the bottleneck that I've seen with this happens because of the low power CPU. Again, the whole conversion of DirectX calls to Vulkan calls happens on the CPU level and not on the GPU. It is the Vulkan calls that then get rendered on the GPU. So having a slow processor does have a fair bit of performance hit as we'll see, but it's still impressive that it's working and um, kind of a gateway into running games on Linux. Hopefully this gets much more mature, much more sooner. Uh, once like Steam has now taken a huge uh, say into it and uh, they are kind of controlling the project. So here we are, we are getting around 30-ish FPS, not like 26. And here we are. Now for me, the mouse weirdly stutters. Now this stutter is not because of the graphics, it's because of my mouse. And I don't know what exactly is causing that. Is it just the uh, in input mechanism once you get to a 
wine and stuff like that but it's pretty bad uh, apart from that the rendering itself is pretty okay so I can walk around and that feels uh, smooth ish like it is actually running at that frame again at the lowest setting but we still have it and so I can move around pretty well I'm just going, trying to get like a straight view of things uh, but the mouse keeps like switching at weird angles And I can again as I said move around uh, I think that is a good of an angle as I'll get uh, now moving with the mouse is going to be tricky in this situation let's see if we have any other head controls uh, which doesn't seem to be the case so for a lot of the part I'll be moving sideways but again you get the idea it's running pretty well uh, even considering that I only have a core i3 uh, the mouse input can be improved by a lot uh, but in this case it's just not there uh, of course on my uh, on my windows installation it goes up to 60 at high i have not done this on ultra it goes up to 60 fps on high and it doesn't really do a very well job of maintaining it but it definitely remains between 40 and 60 so uh, this is kind of a fairly low uh, graphical settings So even in the cutscene which are pre-rendered things look pretty smooth as you can see my mouse is not controlling the camera anymore so animations and the graphics are pretty smooth uh, at 30 fps again uh, running on kind of the slowest tech we have in house and it will ask me to go into the elevator I have no idea how I'll get into there but here we are uh, and again I'm going to touch my mouse just to try to make things in the right direction which should help a bit again it's stuttering badly and here we are so overall I am pretty impressed that was it was able to run this game um, yeah I just wanted to try it out I tried a couple of games this one worked I'm pretty excited hopefully this project gets a lot more attention I know this is kind of been the talk in the Linux gaming community lately and yeah I, I, I just hope someone fixes the mouse issue here this is this could be actually playable if you are not really concerned about uh, pure graphics performance again in fighting scenes and all of that stuff uh, it is going to get messy and this mouse bug was kind of the reason I didn't really take a look at the fighting scenes uh, I won't be able to survive with this but anyways uh, thank you so much for watching here we are uh, project promenade and uh, or project dxvk to be more precise and hopefully this turns out to be better than everyone is expecting and you should see some steam machines soon running this um, from if, if the rumors are true that is again thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one make sure to hit subscribe and all of that good stuff um, yeah and i'll see you all in the next one